Hey guys, what's up? It's I'm Light here, bringing you another tutorial. Uh, recently, just hit 100 subs. I'm at 120 now, I think like that. Uh, thanks for that. So I want to say it's there too. And uh, look at this sexy background that I made. And uh, that's that's all I want to say so far. Uh, but back to the tutorial part. Um, here we go. I'm gonna show you guys this little thing that's around the scope. Uh, I, call it, I guess I call it a HUD. And I'm gonna try to make it today. Uh, it's right here. It comes up a little thing like that spinning, has particles coming out, and the reason why it's blurry is because I added motion blur into the final composition, but we won't do that just yet. Um, that'll have to, I'll show you guys how to use motion blur in one of my uh, tutorials, and uh, it's pretty sick, I think, in my opinion. It uh, just comes in, guys running, blah, 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 shoots mirrors. I'm not going to do the mirror, I'm just going to show you guys how to make it. So, you are going, actually, you may need a few plugins. I forget. I think it might need Star Glow or something like that. I'm not sure, but we, you can get around it too. So let's just go ahead and make a new composition. I will make it two seconds long. So delete that from my other edit, and we'll make it make it two seconds long. There we go. Right click, new solid. I don't know where are you? Solid. <clears throat> And what I did, because I have problems with just making perfect circles, I will actually link you guys to this. Uh, where is it? Editing. Um, other. And I will link you to this right here. It's just a perfect circle. And uh, that's what I'm going to be using today. So we'll drag that in. And we will put this here. And then we'll uh, hold shift on your keyboard and and. If I could shift and uh, grab, or here, where's scale? Push S on your keyboard. Uh, hold shift. Oh, put it right. It should put it right in the center. All right, and uh, scale it up to where you would like it. Hopefully, position it so it's zero, zero. Actually, no, that won't work. So we'll just put it right here, and we'll add title action safe. Actually, there's another way. ID. There's another way to do it where it's perfectly in the center, right there, and hit scale, and then just hold shift and done. Ta-da! So this is my way of doing it because I can never get perfect circles, and the reason why it, and it rotates perfectly, no one would tell it's not rotating. So just put that on zero. <clears throat> and now we need to have in color key, and uh, this is because we want to get rid of the white in the middle, so just take your eye dabber and go white, and then just have the color tolerance up to like 85, and then not edge them, but turn the feather on a little bit. And uh, ta-da! And now we type in fill, and we will put fill on here, and we can fill it to whatever color we want, so I'm actually probably going to do like a red like that, and we're going to click OK. And now what we're going to do is hit star glow. Star glow. I think this is what I did. Um, and then I changed these into aura, I want to say. Forget how I did this, to be honest. I think it's, uh, oh, I had changed to red. There we go. And uh, now what do we need to do? We need to, what, how do I do this? I don't know, control Z. We need to change the streak length just up. To like one and then that one and 1.8 for the streak and boost length make sure you change the input channel to red because uh, otherwise it won't really work it has to be red of course um that's my bad and uh, go ahead and go down to star glow and change the color map a to aurora uh, aurora I don't know how to say it then color map b to aurora also and that's kind of gives you the color I'm to change this one to like a red and this one to like a red so it makes them a little redder. Um, there we go. Then, so now what we're going to do is uh, add in some particular, which is not a plugin. Um, not trap code particular, just particular. And uh, we are going to add that in. Actually, we're going to make a new solid. Control Y. Hit OK and drag particular in. And uh, we got to scale forward just a little bit. And we have to position it where we want it. So. We have to make it actually really first. So uh, I think it's emitter, and we want to change this the position. Um, you kind of got to play around a little bit. Rotation, change the rotation around a little bit. Velocity, we'll expand it. We'll put it at 300. 
which I bet it goes a lot faster, comes out faster. And uh, random, we'll make the random movement a lot. And uh, velocity for motion, change that. And uh, where's the particles per second? Let's change that to like 50. We don't need that much. That's better. So now it comes out and it's just like that. We'll actually change the velocity down to like 200. So it's not just spewing out, but it's coming out pretty fast. And this is all in two seconds, so you gotta remember that. Actually, we'll change that to 100 back to where it was, because it only comes about that much. Perfect. Um, so we have that. And now what we're gonna wanna do is I think we can change the color of it. I just wanna figure out. Uh, physics, nope. Shading, nope. Part particle, particle. There we go. Uh, size, we can change the size around. I'm gonna probably keep it like around two, maybe like five, five. Yeah, five looks good. Uh, size randomly like, randomizes the size, put that at 26. Opacity, keep it at 100. Let me change that. Set color, I'm gonna probably set it to like a, it's probably this color almost. It's like a, you guys set it to one, actually, no, what I do, I change it to color random and I just randomize the color. So I put that like at 65 and just randomize all the colors. And uh, we'll make it kind of majority red, and, but we'll have some of that. So change it to red and put 65. All right, we have that. Now we need to position this on right here, on the side of the circle, and add star glow again. So star glow is a pretty important thing in this, and if you don't have it, that kind of that really sucks, to be honest. And we got to change it again to red, and then uh, color map A, change that to aura or Aurora, I guess that's how you say it, and then Aurora, and we can add, let's, uh, what am I doing, put that back on, um, boost it, put the boost length to 20, and the uh, streak length to like 28, and then I'm also going to add some glow to this, should be down here, alright, glow, and uh, make it really shine, there we go, perfect, so now what we have, is this. So now what we need to do is duplicate this. Control D and we need to grab, we need to select particular and drag it up and we need to hit Control D again and we're going to have to do this all the way. Oops. Control Z. Alright, never mind. We have to select the layer. Hit Control D. Now select particular, drag it right there. And now select the layer, control D, select particular, move it around the circle, select the layer, control D, particular, and keep moving, just keep repeating this, particular, until you kind of get the hang of it, control D, particular. I know it's annoying, but uh, this is how I did it, and it sure looks nice. I think it's really cool, personally, and that should be good. So now, the HUD just, it's spinning, and then all the sparkles come out while it's spinning. So now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all these, composition, or layer, pre-compose, uh, spinny, thingy. It's good. So we have all this. So we'll animate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go rotation. Keyframe it, and then what I do is I just go to two, two seconds and put there's a there's a two numbers. There's one on the right, and one on the left. The one on the left I put to like three, and then I just randomly pull that one, and uh, that should be good. And it should just kind of come out like that. So that's basically how I made it. Um, wasn't really uh, that involved once you get the hang of it, but it did take some creativity, and uh, yeah, it does look nice when it's on a scope. And then you just track it to the scope, which I mean, y'all should probably know how to do. Is you click position and then you know overlay it, blah blah blah. It's really easy. But this is how you make it, and it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So there's my tutorial for the day, and I hope you guys like this. Uh, thank you, and this has been I'm Light. See you guys later.